Whoa. I'm Alyssa. I go by the name of Miss Mulatto. I'm 16 years old, straight out of Atlanta. Everything is at stake. I mean, I've been doing this since I was 10, 11 years old. Back to the teeth, no mouse traps, got my tiger stripes, no house cat. But if you know it's gonna pay off, then it's, it's all worth it. Five it up. Damn. I'm Shane Pitts. I'm her dad, manager. This is very important to our family. I get racks, no Serena, money flowing like Katrina. Everything is music. Our whole life savings, traveling, her tours, cars, financially, everything is riding on Miss Mulata. The boss is home. I'm here because I want to be as big as I can be. Like, I plan on running my own empire and being my own boss. I got a group of my friends here to see if they really approve of what y'all look like. I want to see y'all perform. I'm about to have to perform on spot. My heart is beating so fast. Hey, everybody. I go by today with Miss Mulatto. All right. Man, I'm 16 now. I ain't playing no more games with y'all kids. No candy land, no more holding hands. Anybody can get it real spit. Come through spraying like hair spritz. Hotter than a fresh pot full of grits. Oh, make that thing sing like a falsetto. You just got let go. Better call the gecko. Money taller than a stiletto. When I wipe a little baby like I'm Rocky Balboa. So let's do it. So the people, people calling you, booking you for sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. We don't do free shows oh, yeah. no more. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. All right. Thank you. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she looked like an artist. She, she does. Walked in, like, yo, I'm an artist. This, this is what I do. All right, first impression, Miss Mulatto. She's booking shows. She's got the confidence. I know I could work with that. Miss Mulatto. Ready. Finally. You ready? Thank you, yeah. yeah. I don't know what's going on with Super Peach, but I don't need any extra help or anything, so I just go in the studio and do what I do. First up, the Greenbrier Mall. That's where we ball till we fall. This is where JD ran in the Chris Cross. Gotta be fresh down to the socks. Atlanta, home of the hops. I be writing my own lyrics like I'm Brian Michael Cox. Hey, the all right, stop, 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 stop. South side. You saying all the right stuff to me. As far as everybody doing what was supposed to be done, she just took it to that level of just like shut everybody down. I totally agree. Down. I totally right. agree on that. Miss Mulatto, she blew us away. She paid attention. She wanted to make sure she signed over everybody. I believe she did that. Welcome to Atlanta where the gangsta skate and we kick it at Cascade right off her of MLK. I think you, you're good. I get the confidence again from training. My manager lets me know that I'm the best, so I feel like I'm the best, so I'm going up on the list this week. Miss Mulatto, you were the only person that came with a hook, and you added a second verse. Good job. I actually enjoyed working with you. It felt like a real session. I feel like you did justice to my beat, and, you know, I just want to give you props on that. Like, keep it up. Thank you. Miss Mulatto, you think you're number two today? Nah. Woo-hoo! She said nah. I am nervous because that would be a comeback for Lyric to come just shoosh, right up to number one. Number two this week on my hit list. <laughs> Young Lyric. I don't like being at two, but I mean, like, it's better than being at five. Let's get to this number one spot. <laughs> Miss Mulatto. Seeing my name go into the number one spot, I feel like I was built to be number one. How do you feel? I feel like I deserve it. I feel like you deserve it, too. This week, everybody needs to be trying to gun down Miss Mulatto. I'm dead serious. All right, don't waste my time. My time is money. I'm out. Whew. That was pretty intense. I'm ecstatic. Like, I put in the work. I have the training. I deserve to be number one. I do not feel like I've shown all my cards. I still got a couple tricks up my sleeve, but we're going to wait to show those. I'm using this focus group so these kids can get feedback from their real audience, the kids that still buy music. What they have to say is very important, so these young artists better figure that out. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. I see the, the double mirror, see the corporate-looking table on the other side. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know what's about to happen. Oh, you can listen, listen, listen. All right, so we brought five artists here. We really need your opinion, so be very honest, OK? nervous. I've been doing this for about five, six years. Rap is my life. Like, if this doesn't work out, I don't have anything to rely on. Welcome to Atlanta. We be on the south side where the candy paint 
dripping, then we bought Chevy ride. Big rims, big trucks, this the city to be. And I'm gonna be like, what's happening if you're talking to me? Not to sound cocky or anything, but um, the manager of one of the hottest teenagers in the country. The people love her. That's that's every day. So this week, I don't expect her to drop to anything else but number one. Hey, you know better than to step on my J. So who liked it? I like her flow. Like, she flows really well. She can rap. Like, she, can, she can rap. All right, we're going to now judge her based on her appearance. Oh. She does not look like she sounds. <laughs> I thought she was a little kid. Yeah, like 13 or 14. Me and my dad are looking at each other like, what is going on? I wish I could defend myself right now in this focus group, like shake them like, dude, it's me. You talking about like, come on. All right, we're going to move on to the video part of it. Ready? Like Miss Mulatto and her dad feel like they're perfect. There's nothing they need to work on, and they really believe that. And that's crazy because they're not. I really didn't like her before. I don't like her at all anymore. No? She really needs to lose that screaming. Okay. Miss Mulatto, she thinks she got this competition on lock. She got the look, and she's a great writer. My concern is if her voice and her lyrics will connect with the audience. She's got some work to do, and I hope she's open to her critiques and don't shut them out. Miss Mulatto, Poopy, and Super Peach. I've been exposed to a lot of different situations, but being in a room full of that many people, that's definitely new, so I'm like. <sighs> mic check, mic check. Yo, am I sweating? My lyrics to my song. This the first time I ever collaborated. I'm used to being by myself, so that's why I messed up. You gotta when you roll it with me. If I don't win it, yeah. Now I expected Poopy to be the one out there struggling, but Super Peach, out of all people, she forgets her lines. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, we can ride out in my daddy coupe. I'm talking about just me and you. We definitely came together as a collaboration, especially Poopy, because I see him interact with the other kids. We're not being sent home. I love everything about you, your haircut, your outfit, the way you keep the groupies up off you. And I don't care what she bought you. You can have the world with me, come in my doubt, yeah. The crowd is going crazy. Mulatto is killing it. She has so much energy. She, like, brung the whole thing up to a whole nother level. I love everything about you. About you. Overall, at today's pep rally, the kids really had everybody turned up. I'm impressed. I'm glad to see Lil Poopy do a lot better than rehearsal. He really made sure to get in these kids' faces. But Super Peach totally forgot the first part of her verse. A crowd this size can be intimidating, but as an artist, can't let that get to you. Mulatto. Mulatto. All right, kill it, folks. I've been in the studio since I was 10 years old. When it comes to the studio or writing a song, the pressure can be a lot at times, but it, it drives me. Like, this, I'm doing what I love to do. Peter Piper, I'm as tight as a pepper, no wonder it better. All I write is checks, I ain't got no time to write love letters. <laughs> I got the swag, I got the cash. Mulatto's verse is fresh and young. That resonates with all the kids. Hold on, I said chance. All right, come on out. Every time Mulatto hits the booth, she's confident, professional, and she knows exactly how to catch the beat. How long did it take you to write your rap? 
Uh, not long. The hook, the hook was super dope, so it just came to me. Like, this was pretty fast for you to do a little pause and go in and get it out. Yeah, she might have been the fastest over yeah, part yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 you did pretty fast. The fact that I wowed Jermaine and the fact that he was digging the song, that made me feel like, all right, I got this. Right now, it's like the pressure is on. Super Peach killed it on her video. This did shake me a little bit, not gonna lie. So I have to crush this. It's time to turn it up. That's really dope. It looks real good. You see, like, she's doing something different sitting on the floor. Hold up, hold up. That's my style. Yeah. Give it back. Yeah, it was definitely a purpose to why she sat down. She separated her from everybody else. And uh, I definitely think it worked. Still in the sweat, so I switched it up and now I call it down. Peter Piper, I'm a silence of pepper. No wonder what better. I got the sweat, I got the cash. I'm so addicted to fashion. Hello, I said trash. I think me and Too Crucial are definitely vibing. We work really good together being both from Atlanta. I think we got the whole Atlanta sweat. You know, we out there dabbing. It's the competition. Now, you can tell, watching Miss Mulatto, that she's a professional. Everything is on point. Her audience, they gonna love this. Last up, Miss Mulatto. I said Trent. That's my style. Yeah. Give it back. I'm top jet like my hat. You a duck like quack quack. Spitting like I got a gap. Running circles round them, I'm doing laps. I'm popping jet like my tag. They still in the swag, so I switched it up and now I call it Dab. Peter Piper, I'm a silence of pepper. No wonder what better. All I write is checks. I ain't got no time to write love letters. I got the swag. I got the cash. I'm so addicted to fashion. Hold on. I said trend. What do you think about Miss Mulatto video? I liked it in Mulatto video. It was just more of a circus. And I actually liked her because she had a lot of energy, just like Peachy. And them two remind me a lot about, as far as that part, her energy came. Poopy, what you thought about Mulatto's video? I like Mulatto's video, actually. I feel like she was the most turnt in her video. I agreed with Lil Poopy, of course. I mean, this week, I, I feel like our video, we killed it. I got like 20 bars done for this rap battle. JD wants us to write about ourselves, and I'm passionate about my race. I miss mulatto. The term mulatto technically is a racist slur. It means someone that's half black and half white. So it's like controversial. I took that negativity from the word mulatto, and now I, I use it, and everybody calls me Miss Mulatto. Why do I have to choose one or the other? I'm both. That's what I want to go by. I'm mulatto 50-50, the majesty of my city. I sacrificed, so did my mother, pregnant with a daughter. Abort that mutt is what they told her. My mom was pregnant with me when she was 15 years old. She went to a majority white school, so of course, you know, her being 15 years old, pregnant by a black man, that was just too much for them to handle. Remember getting bullied over what I had no control. I took that and took off. Now I'm proud to be a mulatto. So I don't know. some strong words. You know, so many people doubted me. <laughs> so many people doubt you. Oh, she's not gonna be able to do this. She's she's a mud. Oh, she can't do this. And then you know, being in the industry, it just turned up the pressure like times ten. Signing this contract is everything to me. I have to show JD this is what I've been working for. I'm ready for this. Let's go. First of all, cut this child's play. The kitty need no pity. Plus I'm young, get a female, so I know all lots against me. I'm a lot of 50-50, the majesty in my city. Call me South Side Protected, the best of the best to mix it on. I don't carry money bags, I carry purses. We gon' need some purses, I'm killing them on purpose. Something like the bar, the bus, don't move unless you pay me. No, they gunning for me, but they shooting rather aimlessly. Finally, Miss Mulatto is bringing that up in your face style that I've been trying to get out of her for weeks. And if she can continue to keep showing me this raw mulatto shit on stage, she might just get this contract. Final performance. Miss Mulatto to the stage. This is the last challenge that we're going to be doing. Everything that we've done thus far in the competition in the house is on the line tonight. It's just so much pressure. Like, I got to just turn it up.
Mulatto has continuously been one of the best writers and performers in the house. But it's always been a question if she can break out of that polished mode and give us a raw performance. Mulatto stomping around brought the whole house down. Right now, I wish I could just shake JD like I'm ready for this, for real. Nico's ready, but he's not ready like me. I don't even, he, his hunger does not compare to mine at all. I'm the best one for your label. Like, please just come on, just give me the plaque. Tell me my name is on this plaque. This contract to us is super important. You know, we've never really thought about putting a name on Miss Mulatto's back, but to have a so-so deaf name on her back, man, is, is everything. So, this is a super hard, hard, hard decision for me to make because I feel like Miss Mulatto, you like probably are the most trained out of everybody. I feel like Nico, you the most lyrical. Your verses was probably the best, cleanest verses of the times that we had to put you in the studio and rap. Lil Nico definitely deserves this situation. He embodies hip hop, he writes, he performs, he entertains, he's a superstar. So all the way around, Nico's the kid. This flag that you gotta carry, this so so death flag is a difficult flag for a kid because the kids that's come from this label have gone to be stars. It's hard, I hate this one. This is not gonna be easy, right? So, with me having one chain, one plaque, and one contract. I would say, Nico, I don't think this plaque is ready for you. I'm very disappointed about JD not signing me. Personally, I just, I never really lost before. So, when you lose to someone, you kind of upset with yourself. You know, you start second guessing things. What could I have done better? What did I go, where did I go wrong? I just think it was a tough decision for me that I had to go through. Like I said, this is who's the most ready. Who's prepared to go to the next level. And I think like, it was still a, a, a push on your part that you needed to put a little bit more into it. I thought you was giving about 80%. You could have gave me the rest to get to 100. I'm not signing you today. But don't give up, and I feel like a little bit more time, you're going to be dangerous. This your time. Miss Mulatto, this your time. This your plaque. This your chain. Congratulations <laughs> to you, and uh, I can't wait to get in the studio with you. I can't wait to get in the studio. All right. I'm happy, like, like my tears are just like, they're they're tears of joy. Like I'm, it's crazy how much I've put into this, and just to know that I'm the one walking out with this, it means everything to me. Everything. I'm the happiest person in the world right now. The reason why you're here right now is because this is about being ready. And I feel like after watching you tonight, I can do wonders with you. If you and I were in the studio, I believe we're gonna come up with magic. And that's why I made this decision. Well, I might as well go ahead and do this. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> wow. Work so hard. Like I'm in a dream or something, man. Oh, the pressure is on times ten even more. Being attached to the so so deaf name is a is a big legacy to, you know, carry on. I'm ready though. I don't think anybody is more ready than me. And JD definitely picked the right one. It's the end of the competition, but it's the beginning of my career. I gotta keep it business, it's fun, but I mean, we gotta get to this contract. Y'all ready to sign this contract? Ready. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get to it. it. I'm so proud of what these kids have accomplished over the last few weeks. They all learned a lot, put in the hard work, and gave the performance of their life. I may see some of them in the future, but in the end, I can only sign one of them. Everybody watch out, because Miss Mulatto about to turn the up. <laughs>